Today is Constitution Day, the 222nd anniversary of the signing of our nation's founding document. We'll mark the occasion by taking a look at civic education in Arizona schools. We'll hear from the director of ASU Center for Civic Education and Leadership in a moment. But first, producer David Major and photographer Richard Torellis take us to a school where civics is being taught despite certain challenges. We have Canada and we have about two minutes. Lee Deramo teaches fourth grade at Lookout Mountain Elementary School in the Washington District. He helps his kids master reading, writing, and math. Um, 54. And whenever he can, Lee tries to teach them civics. Make sure that they know what's going on in their government and how it's structured so they can take an active part in their world. Lee believes strongly in civic education, but he says it doesn't have a strong place in public education. To be honest, pretty much a non-existent place <laughs> because, one, it's not tested, and the big push in Arizona right now is the Ames test, and if it's not tested, it's kind of pushed to the side because you need to focus on those standards that are. These areas here, are all tested areas. To illustrate his point, Lee brought out a huge binder containing the fourth grade curriculum. And within all this, here is civics education, one, two, three pages. And so when these areas are being tested and this isn't, this is the first thing that goes out the door. Civics education tends to be the first thing to go. That might help explain why Arizona high schoolers had a hard time answering some questions. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? Answer, the Bill of Rights. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Answer, the Senate and the House. Matthew Ladner of the Goldwater Institute is reading from a list of questions included in a recent survey of about 1,300 students. We uh, hired a survey firm to go out and uh, survey high school students in Arizona and we administered the United States Citizenship Test as a part of the survey. That's the test immigrants must pass to become a U.S. citizen. From a bank of 100 questions, they're given 10 to answer, and they must get six correct to pass. Overall, only 3.5% uh, of Arizona public school students scored a six or better. The results were, were catastrophically bad. Uh, among public school students, uh, only around a quarter knew who George Washington, that George Washington was the first president of the United States. About the same percentage can identify the, the, the uh, author of the Declaration of Independence. That's really bad. 42% can't identify the ocean on the east coast of the United States. That's stunning. After we published this study, I got a number of calls from social study teachers from around the state um, telling me things like, well, my school puts a tremendous amount of pressure on me to teach algebra items that are going to be on the Ames test, right? Basically, we have to teach the, the test on algebra. Um, social studies is not a part of the, you know, the Ames test. Um, and there's an expression that says that, that you know, if you, if you don't test it, the kids don't learn it. The idea of the three branches, but then it all twists together and it comes together as one, one government. Lee makes sure his kids are learning civics. Today we're working on the three branches of government and how they intertwine with each other. As we get into it, it will be part of their writing lessons and it will be part of their reading as well. So what you have to do is um, kind of sneak that civics education in back into your curriculum. That's one way to get civics into the classroom. But what about the Ames test? If it's part of the problem, might it also be a solution? I'm open to a variety of different possibilities, but if, if the question is, should we include social studies and civics on Ames, my answer is yes. Uh, no. I think John civics Kyle education well. is really an open education where um, there needs to be a lot of discussion, a lot of um, back and forth talk about what is going on in the government and what is going on in their world. Uh, when you stick that on an Ames test, it becomes very narrowed, very focused, and then those few things will be taught and not, well, it, it would be get them to pass that test 
first civics education, but really forget civics education.